guys, it's Sally Jo from Posh Chalk Interiors. I hope you're all well today. Today we're just going to have a bit of fun. I have not really much clue as to what I'm going to do. Well, where it's going to end up. But we've been cleaning the workshop all day long and I just wanted to just chill out and have a bit of fun. We started off with an old, a very old board. We threw loads of boards out so I thought... I wouldn't waste it. I'm going to use the other side and I've gone over it in two coats of Dixabelle soft pink. Just two very light coats. I've not done anything special. And we're going to do a bit of decoupage. Then we're going to do some metallic pastes in the stencils and we're going to pop them. So this is just rice paper. I just found it in my stash. I have no idea where I got it from, when I got it, but I did like the ballerina. So I've put my Dixie Belle Top Coat Sealer in gloss. That's what I use for decoupage. I'm just going to pop it on the surface. And then I'm going to go over the top. Really easy, this. I'm going to do a bit of layering as well. Not bothered if I get crinkles in it. This is not meant to look like a brand spanking new piece here. So I'm going to come in now and I'm going to piece some more. I didn't have much of this. I'm just going to come in and rip bits up. I'm just going to pop bits on. I love decoupage. It went out of fashion for a couple of years. But now it is back with a vengeance. So we're going to be using a mixture of paste today. I'm going to be using the Posh Chalk Metallic Paste and the La Magic Materic Paste. Now, the name of the game is for me to try and camouflage all these rugged edges here. Now, I could have done that with paint. And I may still have to do that with paint. It depends on the effect I get at the end. So, I'm going to open my... Posh Chalk Metallic Pastes. So I've got my rose gold there. I'm going to be using some light gold. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to be using raining, raining in Paris, the Posh Chalk stencil, and I'm going to be using the Victorian wallpaper. Now, I think I'm going to come in with that first. I think that's going to help me cover up some of these ragged edges there. in nicely. And then I'm going to come in with some of this metallic paste, which I like. Where is she? I don't want to cover her up completely. different kinds of colours mixing in here which is nice. So let's see, I'm just going to drag that down, let's see what we've done here. Oh very pretty. You like that guys? Yeah, that's very pretty. Right, I'm just gonna pop that and then we can carry on.
can see we've got various heights here. Some of it's popped. Obviously the metallic, the, the magic paste has not popped, which is what I wanted. It's giving me texture. It's starting to hide and cover up the edge of my decoupage. Swing it around. And I'm gonna do exactly the same color scheme Fade that into the picture there. So that's as far as we've got. The way she's lifting her arm up there, I think I'm going to just come in freehand. I'm really going to risk it now. Um, no, I'm going to do some smudging. So I'm just going to come in with a really tiny bit. I'm going to drag it down. That's what smudging is, you see? And here I'm going over a paste that's already popped. What I'm trying to do now is cover up the, that part there where the decoupage stops and the paste starts. I'm trying to camouflage that, make it look all artsy, where all I'm trying to do really is cover my mess up. Right, so I'm now going to come down here and I think I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I have up there. Can you see I'm getting the dark red, the dark colour in the corner. It just gives the whole piece, it frames it. I'm coming in with the, um, the rose gold now. I really want this corner nice and heavy with paste. Just bringing some white in here just to give the whole picture some lighting. Just gives it a bit of motion and it's covered all my mess up that I've made there. And now I'd like to make it nice and wet so I can sprinkle some pigments on it. We're just going to use Byzantine gold. So I'm going to get my top coat sealer. I'm using the posture confuser here. I'm just going to seal it all over. And then I can sprinkle some post chalk pigments on. And just look at that, it's turning into liquid gold. So I've created a lot of texture here. We've got a lot of metallics going on. So I'm now going to just dab and see what happens. Can I spread this out? I rather like it like that. So what do you think guys? I don't think it's bad for a playtime. 
Oh, look, it's all running down now. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to let it drip. Thanks ever so much for watching. Love you loads and I'll see you soon.